So here's the problem. I've got this free play in my wiper blades and uh, reading up on some of the forums I've realized that it's uh, loose bushings in the linkage which is a rod that runs between these two wiper uh, arms and so I'm going to try to tear it apart and get into it. Take these rubber caps off top and then we're going to unbolt that. So all I did was uh, you can see that there. It's just pried up with a screwdriver and it literally pops right off. And so there's another one over there and I'll do that and then uh, take the bolts off and try to get those wiper blades off. So uh, I'm using a 14 mil socket with a short extension to uh, get in and take these off. Lefty loosey righty tighty. So I got the bolts off. They just popped right off. Didn't actually have to uh, work very hard and so there you can see check the inside make sure it's in good shape all's well set those aside and then I'll do the same to the other one okay so according to the diagram these should just be little plugs that pop out and there's another one on the other side and this part of the cowl should come off with any luck so here's hoping I'm gonna try and pry those out okay so you see it I've got my right angle needle nose pliers in there and I'm pulling up and there it is popped right out so I'm going to set that aside someplace safe and uh, go pull the other one off. So this is the piece of the cowl plate that was held in by that little plastic uh, pin. And uh, so it just wiggled out of there fairly easily. So I'm going to go do the same to the other side just to show you what it's like. They're fairly uh, good pieces of rubber, so you can, I don't know, you can see it's snowing outside. It's minus one right now, so these things are still fairly flexible. Next is to uh, try to lift up this cowl. There's a bunch of pins underneath it uh, in various places, and uh, so I'm going to try to pry that up and, and get it out of the way. Well, that was easier than I thought. There's a pin here, one here, one here, and one here. Nothing on this edge. This just kind of fits up underneath the window a little bit. And uh, I literally just reached up underneath it and pulled up on it, and it popped right out super easy. Okay, uh, this thing was a real pain in the butt to get off. I had to basically break a, a seal the whole way around it, not really knowing what was holding it in. I uh, broke this piece of the plastic a little bit, prying on it, just to find out that there's clips here, 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 and uh, inside is the wiper linkage. So the rest of this job, hopefully, should be uh, fairly easy. I uh, got that thing off. This is the it goes on top of a little knob. This is just a plastic bushing, and hopefully, you can see that half of the uh, teeth are missing off of this thing. Now those little flanges, they fit inside and around in here and keep that linkage tight so uh, they're busted off which is part of the reason why I have all that play and I'm gonna disassemble this part the arm comes right off now as you can see and uh, there's some other stuff there's a couple of other uh, little washers and uh, things underneath it here there's this 
and then uh, this rubber one. Okay, so now that I got that linkage unhooked over there, I'm going to take the bolts out because I can't really see what's going on back here enough to, uh, you know, be able to fix the problem. So I'm going to take these bolts off, or the nuts off the bolts, I should say. I've already loosened them up. You can see I got one off already. And I'm making sure that uh, I'm using my new magnetic pan so I don't lose my bolts down in the snow. And uh, so I'm going to take these ones off, these ones off, and then according to the uh, diagrams in my manual, I should be able to pull this whole thing out through one of the uh, one of these service parts here at least. So uh, I forgot to mention, these are 10 mil bolts and uh, I'm just using this little wonderful little tool here that's like a right angle so once I break the bolt then uh, I can simply sorry I'm doing this with one hand simply just twist it off it's a little better than the ratchet sometimes okay well I want you to see it to believe it uh, I got these uh, parts of the linkage unhooked here and they're just little bolts I hope that they're seated good it's going to be a real pain in the butt to put that back in, but once uh, once you get it off, just like they said in the manual, you can literally pull the whole linkage right out. So now I can take this inside and where it's a little warmer, inspect these things and try to... Uh, I probably can't see that. There we go. And try to see if uh, these parts are in good shape. Okay, so uh, we're inside where it's nice and warm, as you can see. This is uh, the part that attaches to the motor. And uh, bushings are still out in, underneath the hood of the car. But I came in to have a look at these. And uh, they're in good shape. I wiggled them back and forth, and uh, they're still fairly well lubricated. They don't appear to be um, broken or allow the arms to move or wiggle around. So uh, it's just that one bushing at the other end. Everything here seems to spin fairly easily. Uh, so whatever lube they use at Subaru is uh, holding up pretty good. Probably going to give these a little shot of a uh, rust converter just to uh, some rust check stuff that I've got here and uh, it works pretty good to as you can see convert it to something that you can paint if you want to I just use it as a way to kind of preserve the metal a little bit longer because as you can see it's starting to rust you get an awful lot of salt uh, on our roads and then it gets on our windows and then obviously it rolls down inside of this on, into the cowl and onto these assemblies. So I'm going to go get my parts and I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to match them up. But, uh, as you can see, mine's got some issues. And uh, so here's my replacement parts. These are from a company called uh, Dorman. And here's the part number, 49447. I got these at a local uh, auto supply store. You should be able to pick them up hopefully anywhere. If not, you could order them online. As you can see, they cost a big whopping $4. And uh, so I'm going to tear these apart and try to match up some of these parts in here. Okay, so uh, here's my solution. I got a small chisel chisel that's hopefully big enough that I'll be able to just go down here with a real light mallet, if not the back of my hand, and chisel that off square, or flush I should say, on all four sides, and hopefully that should make it the right size to fit in there. Okay, welcome back. This is uh, the original part that's broken, and you can see how that fits in there, nice and flush. And so I'm going to take that off grab the other part, this part, and I'll put that in there with those flanges cut off and uh, see if I can focus in a little bit better there. There you go. Seems to fit just like it should.
Okay, we're back, and uh, this is the cap. Fits nice and snug. I put the washer in the uh, rubber thing back over it, and I also put a uh, piece of metal here. It's kind of built up, and it holds that washer, and it keeps it nice and tight, so there's absolutely no play in this thing anymore. It's super solid, and when I run the wipers they sound great so uh, I'm gonna put the cowl back in and cross to make sure all those clips are nice and tight uh, I've oiled all the joints and bolts and everything so uh, it's ready to go